Hello everybody, I just finished another book, um, and I'm gonna just go right ahead and say it, Still Life by Sarah Winman. Um, let me show you what bookmark I used. Um, it's like 10.40 right now, I finished this like 12 hours ago, not really, like 10 hours ago. This was the bookmark I used, I feel like it matched nice. Um, but yeah, I finished this earlier today, had a kind of busy day, so I didn't do, I didn't record the video, so it's now it's late at night, but Harry's House came out, I listened to it, Keep Driving is my favorite, um, also like Daylight, Daydreaming, and I don't know, I like all, pretty much all of them, except Little Freak is not my favorite, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I finished Still Life by Sarah Women. I have a very complicated relationship with this book, and let me tell you all about why. Um, I read Sarah, uh, the, uh, my other Sarah Women book last month, Tin Man, which was much shorter, and I could stand it. Um, I loved pretty much everything about this book. I loved the story. I loved the characters. I loved the writing. Um... I loved all of that. What I didn't like was reading it. And you might be like, well, if you liked everything about it, you didn't like reading it, that doesn't make sense. I would agree with you because I don't understand my relationship with this book because I love the cover. I love the writing. I thought it was beautiful. I love the story. The story is so amazing. And I love the characters like Evelyn or Evelyn Skinner. It was one of my favorite book characters of all time. And I gave this five stars. I wouldn't recommend it. No, I would. Depends on the day. A minute ago, I wouldn't have. Right now, I am. I don't, I don't get it. I, I cannot understand my relationship with this book. Um, because I did like it. I thought it was just fine. I'm happy that I read it. I just wasn't happy while I read it. <sighs> anyway, let me tell you a little bit more about my feelings. Um, so, Still Life is... A captivating, big-hearted, richly tapestried story of people brought together by love, war, art, flood, and the ghost of E.M. Forrester by celebrated author of Tin Man. Who is E.M. Forrester? I, okay, I didn't go into this book prepared. A lot of the stuff mentioned in this book is only satisfying if you remember everything else that happened. So one part I did remember, because I was like, that will probably come back, is about a violet that Evelyn Skinner keeps. Um, and then page, what, 410, it comes back. That's on page, like, 12. So this book was really, really long. It was 450 pages, and nine chapters. Also, look at my glitter tattoo. I got this yesterday. Anyway. Um, this didn't need to be this long. I'm really dazzled by the intelligent writing. Um, because stuff that you would have no idea an author knows about is, like, in this book. And, like... Not necessarily not knows about, but like every little insight to every character. So Sarah Winman is a very, very talented writer. I just think that she should cap herself at a, a word count. Um, because this book had really, really beautiful passages that, is that like, oh, never mind. Um, had really, really beautiful passages that I wanted to like write down and keep forever. But then there was also stuff that I just... I couldn't wait to move past. And then the big stuff that you think will be important isn't important. And there's, sorry, that was just a guttural reaction, a guttural reaction from a part that I remembered. Okay, skip ahead a couple, like, 20 seconds if you don't want any spoilers. Apparently, Evelyn is a spy 
I didn't know. I had literally no idea. And I don't know if that's relevant to the story. Like, I'm, I'm more frustrated because I didn't understand it than anything else. Because I was really excited for this book. I liked Tin Man a lot. Um, the only thing that, that gets me with her writing is the dialogue. I just, I don't really understand what the characters mean when they're talking. Um, a lot of what they're saying you're supposed to interpret on your own, I guess. Um, oh, not, not all of the time, but some of the time. Um, and I just, like, I felt a little lost pretty much the whole time, which I, I was really disappointed in. I think this is where the troubling relationship comes from, is because I was really excited to read this book. Um, I was, I had been wanting to read it forever, um, and I just am sad that I didn't understand it. Like, I didn't grasp everything that was in the story. It just... It fell short of my personal expectations for this book. Um, and that is mainly due to the fact that I just didn't understand it. I didn't get a lot of it. A lot of the connections I didn't make. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it was five stars because it was a really good book. Uh, and I felt like a lot of the troubles were on me. Um, because nothing is, like, explicitly laid out for you, and it shouldn't have to be, um, and it typically isn't in books, um, but just some of the connections I was not able to make on my own. Um, but I mean, <sighs> I can't, because I, I don't remember who E.M. Forrester was, and I felt like that was probably super important if it was on the inside of the book jacket. E.M. Forrester and the ghost of E.M. Forrester. See the narrator? I don't think so. I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I feel like if Sarah Winman was to watch this, she would throw rocks at me. Because, like, what a shame I was reading this book. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was really long. So, I mean, if you're looking to a, for a book to keep you occupied, this is it. And it's good. I mean, the story, I really, really like the story. Like, love the story. But I just, I couldn't get into it. Because I couldn't understand what was happening. And then once I got lost at the beginning, I couldn't go back. I mean, I could have. I didn't go back. So, I was just lost pretty much the whole time. Which is really upsetting. So, if someone could explain this to me. If someone can post a video, explain it to me, write me a letter or something explaining this book, I would greatly appreciate that. Or if, like, there was a lit charts on this book, like, I looked for it, didn't have it, um, that would be really useful, I think, for me, because I just, I want to get this book. I want to understand it. Those are my thoughts. I don't know when I'm going to finish another book. I'm hoping it's soon. I don't know, though. I'm three books. It's May 19th. I read two books that were over 450 pages. So, well, that one was 450. But then House of the Spirits was 485. So, I mean, I'm just like... A little bit behind, because I wanted, I was hoping I could read 10 books this month, but I read longer books this month. So I read, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where I get, because um, I've got two books that I really want to read that I think I should be able to finish fairly quickly. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you all for watching. Bye!